Good morning. Our opening song is number 196, Holy God, We Praise Thy Name. <laughs> Holy God, we praise Thy name. Lord of all, we bow before Thee. All on earth Thy scepter claim. All in heaven above adore Thee. Infinite Thy vast domain. Everlasting is Thy reign. Infinite Thy vast domain. Everlasting is thy reign. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, the grace and peace of God our Father, the love of Jesus, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with all of you. Gathering in the name of the Lord, let us call to mind our sins as we prepare to celebrate these sacred mysteries. Lord, you came to heal the contrite of heart. Lord, have mercy. Lord, you came to call sinners. Christ, have mercy. Lord, you plead for us at the right hand of the Father. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Let us pray. O God, who founded all the commands of your sacred law upon love of you and of our neighbor, grant that by keeping your precepts we may merit to attain eternal life through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Our reading from the book of Exodus. The tent, which was called the meeting tent, Moses used to pitch at some distance away outside the camp. Anyone who wished to consult the Lord would go to this meeting tent outside the camp. Whenever Moses went out to the tent, the people would all rise and stand at the entrance of their own tents, watching Moses until he entered the tent. As Moses entered the tent, the column of cloud would come down and stand at its entrance while the Lord spoke with Moses. On seeing the column of cloud stand at the entrance of the tent, all the people would rise and worship at the entrance of their own tents. The Lord used to speak to Moses face to face as one man speaks to another. Moses would then return to the camp but his young assistant, Joshua, son of Nun, would not move out of the tent. Moses stood there with the Lord and proclaimed his name, Lord. Thus the Lord passed before him and cried out, The Lord, the Lord, a merciful and gracious God, slow to anger and rich in kindness and fidelity, continuing his kindness for a thousand genera generations, and forgiving wickedness and crime and sin, yet not declaring the guilty guiltless, but punishing children and grandchildren for the third and fourth generation for the father's wickedness. Moses at once bowed down to the ground in worship. Then he said, If I find favor with you, O Lord, do come along in our company. This is indeed a stiff-necked people, yet pardon our wickedness and sins, and receive us as your own. So Moses stayed with the Lord for 40 days and 40 nights, without eating any food or drinking any water. And he wrote on the tablets the words of the covenant, the Ten Commandments. The word of the Lord. 
Thanks be to God. The Lord is kind and merciful. He is kind and merciful. The Lord secures justice and the rights of all the oppressed. He has made known his ways to Moses and his deeds to the children of Israel. The Lord is kind and merciful. Merciful and gracious is the Lord, slow to anger and abounding in kindness. He will not, he will not always chide, nor does he keep his wrath forever. The Lord is kind and merciful. Not according to our sins does he deal with us, nor does he quit us according to our crimes. For as the heavens are high above the earth, so surpass it in his kindness towards those who fear him. The Lord is kind and merciful. As far as the east is from the west, so far has he put our transgressions from, transgressions from us. As a father has compassion on his children, so the Lord has compassion on those who fear him. The Lord is kind and merciful. Alleluia, 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 Alleluia. The seed is the word of God, Christ is the sower. All who come to him will live forever. Alleluia. Alleluia, Alleluia. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Jesus dismissed the crowds and went into the house. His disciples approached him and said, Explain to us the parable of the weeds in the field. He said in reply, He who sows good seed is the Son of Man. The field is the world, the good seed the children of the kingdom. The weeds are the children of the evil one, and the enemy who sows them is the devil. The harvest is the end of the age, and the harvesters are angels. Just as weeds are collected and burned up with fire, so will it be at the end of the age. The Son of Man will send his angels, and they will collect out of his kingdom all who cause others to sin and all evildoers. They will throw them into the fiery furnace, where there will be wailing and grinding of teeth. Then the righteous will shine like the sun in the kingdom of their Father. Whoever has ears ought to hear. The Gospel of the Lord. Our first reading gives us a particular insight into the Lord, taken from the Lord's own words, describing himself. And as much as we might say in the Old Testament, the Lord is a punishing God, we find God's description to be just the opposite. It says, The Lord, the Lord, a merciful and gracious God, slow to anger and rich in kindness and fidelity, continuing his kindness for a thousand generations, and forgiving wickedness and crime and sin. as we think of our own image of God, even though we cannot see the Lord face to face and that from himself comes the Ten Commandments, we can truly apply the Lord's attributes to our own life and how we are to grow in God's ways. That we are to be slow to anger, we are to be merciful and gracious 
that we are to be rich in kindness and fidelity and, forgiven, and forgiveness of all kinds of crimes, sins, and wickedness. Yes, we have a long road to walk in developing God's ways in our lives, but we do not do it alone. It is the Lord who plants grace in our life and allows us to respond to his presence as we live out our as we live out our lives responding to that fulfillment of grace in our life. May we present to the Lord our intentions. We pray for the grace to truly grow in the Lord's ways of life and encourage others to respond in the same way. We pray to the Lord. We pray in thankfulness for the rain that we have received that our crops truly may grow and be nourishing. We pray to the Lord. We pray for the recent um, experiences of evil, um, the shootings, the killings of other people. We pray to the Lord. We pray for peace in the places of war, that our, country, our, that our world may be a place of community rather than of division. We pray to the Lord. We pause to add our own intentions in silence. We pray to the Lord. And we pray for all who have died, especially for Lee Fredrickson. We pray to the Lord. Loving and gracious God, we place our needs before you Help us to grow in your ways as we seek your kingdom. We ask our prayer through Christ our Lord. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you. Fruit of the earth and work of human hands, it will become for us the bread of life. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you. Fruit of the vine and work of human hands, it will become our spiritual drink.
Pray, my brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, our Heavenly Father. Receiving with favor, O Lord, we pray the offerings of your people, that what they profess with devotion and faith may be theirs through these heavenly mysteries, through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, almighty and eternal God. For although you have no need of our praise, yet our thanksgiving itself is your gift. Since our praises add nothing to your greatness, but profit us for salvation through Christ our Lord. And so, in company with the choirs of angels, we praise you as with joy we proclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the font of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and, giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis our Pope and David our Bishop and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray that with the blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. At the Savior's command and form of divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, 
those who mess against us. Temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. The peace of the Lord be with all of you. Let us offer one another a sign of peace. Peace be with you. Lamb of God, Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. <laughs> Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed.
Let us pray. Graciously raise up, O Lord, those you renew with this sacrament, that we may come to possess your redemption, both in mystery and in the manner of our life, through Christ our Lord. Amen. May we pray for our seminarian, Michael Jansikowski. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, Pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. We pray the prayer to St. Joseph. Good St. Joseph, as you led the Holy Family, watch over our families. Help our family and all families to know and share God's love. In our family relationships, may we find healing and seek to be holy. May our fathers help us to become faithful disciples of Jesus, who share our love for him. As foster father of Jesus, watch over all who serve as spiritual fathers. In a special way, bless our Holy Father, our bishop, and our priests. May they follow your humble example and their fatherly care for the people of God, the church. With Mary, you raise Jesus, the high priest. You know our need for priests. Please raise up good and holy priests from our families to serve the people of our diocese. May our children and grandchildren hear and say yes to the call of Jesus, just as you and Mary did. Good St. Joseph, pray for us. And the prayer to St. Michael. St. Michael, the archangel, defend us in battle. Be our protection against the wickedness and snares of the devil. May God rebuke him, we humbly pray. And do thou, O Prince of the heavenly host, by the power of God, thrust into hell Satan, and the other evil spirits who prowl about the world for the ruin of souls. Amen. The Lord be with you. May Almighty God bless you. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, go in peace to love and serve the Lord. Number 196. Hark the loud celestial hymn, angel Choirs above are raising cherubim and seraphim in unceasing chorus praising fill the heavens with sweet accord holy 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 Lord fill the heavens with sweet a